Hello. In one of my previous video, I explained the next JS with the SQLite uh, and using the next auth credential based authentication. I'm extending that tutorial and uh, I'm going to explain in this tutorial how to use that credential based system and the, with the bcrypt encryption with the user role based system and finally how to use the superbase instead of sqlite and how to implement all this setup so if you want to see the demo here is the employee dashboard i have three kind of users uh, we can sign out i had implemented a custom login page and uh, i also created a register page inside the register you can add a new user and you can create this user by registering i implemented the toast and if you try to add similar user multiple times it will show the credential user dot create invocation unique constraint failed and if you try to log in it will take you to the appropriate dashboard how I implemented in the schema dot prisma I first created a credential user inside this credential user i created a new field called the role and the password these two fields were not in the default user module so i created a new model a credential user and added a password and role and this is the enum for a super user admin and employee and the default is employee if you want to use uh, the SQLite instead of PostgreSQL, which is a super base, uh, you don't have the enum functionality. And what you need to do for that is use a string here. I created uh, accounts and sessions array. Inside that, just duplicate the user field and the, for the credential user field and same for the session once you done this just run the command npx prisma db push and if you try to log in you will see in the console that the role field is added into the session how i achieve this <clears throat> i simply tried a new trpc route which is a credential user route and inside that I use a new procedure which is a public procedure uh, with the mutation input field it takes two uh, three fields name email and password and before submitting the password it will just bankrupt and with the created salt these two lines will encrypt the password and we feed this encrypted password to the prisma uh, dot create function and once this is done let's move back into your login page inside this login page what we are going to do we are just handling a form submit inside this form submit these lines are doing the magic which is simply a sign in function from the next op and inside this next auth we mention that we are using a credential provider and we are giving two values email and password and once everything is done we are just pushing the route to the dashboard otherwise we are just toasting the error inside the dashboard what we have we are simply switching according to the user dot role 
and if the role is super user we are just returning a super user dashboard if the role is admin we are just returning the admin dashboard and if the role is employee we are returning the employee dashboard component otherwise we are just pushing an unauthorized route and if you want to see the auth.ts file inside this ts file we just did uh, the session interface extending and we added these uh, role field here and inside uh, this auth options what we created here is our credential provider we named this a uh, credentials and these fields are for if we are using the interface for uh, the next auth itself and in this authorize function we created a new user uh, with the find you uh, we are just uh, finding a unique user with matching email and if we not found we are returning the now if we found that we will compare using the bcrypt function and we will match with the input credentials and uh, the returned user password and if both are match we are uh, returning a user otherwise we are returning a null for sessions to work these things we need to done we need to mention some secret and for the session strategy strategy we mentioned the JWT inside the callbacks we are just creating a async and returning a promise dot resolve token inside we are checking if we have a user we append that user into the token once this JWT is returned we go to the session and inside the session we are just appending the user token dot user as credential user inside the session and that's why you are seeing this a uh, user here and we are just a console log session dot user here and we are returning the promise dot resolve and this will handle our session management system and we can access the use session hook and if we uh, are handling the session it will return the session data so that's all for today's tutorial if i forgot something to mention please leave a comment i will try to answer that and i will leave this code link into the description so don't forget to check the description thank you Thank you.